How's it going guys? My name is Nick, this is James and welcome finally to the BMW 135i, a car that we've been waiting to do a video with for so very long. It's long overdue guys. Long overdue. <laughs> Okay, so we decided to do this video over the course of a few days um, just to make the filming a little bit more easy. Unfortunately though, yesterday was a complete mess up. Um, the wind was absolutely horrible. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to use the third day now to, to do the shooting a little bit. But let's start the video off with a little bit of a cold start. Okay, so let's start this off with the backstory. So please do tell myself and the listeners why did you decide on a BMW 135i? So basically, when I was looking for a for a replacement for the for the Swift Sport, I had a few criteria the the next car I had to meet, and I'd say the first one is the fact that I really, really, really had to have a real 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 drive car. Yeah, I imagine. like a, a must for me just to. Just to get that out of my system, basically. Yeah, just like to develop your driving skills. Take it off, basically. Yeah. And then I'd say the next thing is it had to be a car with more than four cylinders. I yeah, just felt, yeah, I get that. Just felt I needed something in my life. Just a bit of change. And then also, I really, really wanted something which was turbocharged, because I just wanted to feel that torque swell that pushing you back in the seat almost mm. um, and then I think what, 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 what else what are you thinking <laughs> you're asking me why you bought your car <laughs> um, no I'm kidding um, but I get I get that because with with the Swift like I remember doing or just chatting about that car on, on, a, on a few videos back where 
it's super light and direct and easy to maintain and handle and everything and it's a very nice package but then, then you get to that part of your life you're like but I really want to just feel that 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 funny feeling in your stomach yeah, again. Just just a, just a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Not not to like. It doesn't um, have to be mental. Doesn't have to make life unrealistic, yeah, yeah, but like yeah. something that makes you smile and laugh uncontrollably just, just when bit, you put the foot down. A bit more special, basically. Yeah. yeah no, I get that. <laughs> so one thing I've always been curious about, or like to the un untrained eye, how how do you distinguish this between a normal 125 or a diesel or something? What makes this a 135? I can put it that way. So basically, um, this is a 2009 135i. Mm. So it's got the well, the same as the 125i, also the inline six engine. Mm. But the the um, 135i has the twin turbochargers on them, which obviously that that probably like makes, makes a, a massive su difference. substantial difference. <laughs> I think it's about 50 kilowatts difference, more or less. 50 kilowatts. 50 kilowatts. And that's like untuned and stock and then, standard. And then also massive jump up in torque. And mm. then this is a this is a normal 135i, not an M135i. Mm. But the person who purchased this car actually did a fairly good job in specking the car. Okay, so, so from like so the previous owner bought it from new and then yes, spec the yeah, yeah. That's quite nice. So it was actually a, a female driver. Okay. And she um, she decided to put in or install as an optional extra the M performance bumper. Which actually is not it's not just visual, it also has like cooling ducts for the brakes. Hectic. Yeah, so that's a bit of a, a bonus. And then also it has the M performance uh, M Sport rear bumper, which is just, uh, just yeah. visual. And I mean how 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 awesome are those parts in rounding off the car as, yeah, as makes, something a little bit different? Makes a massive difference. And like probably to the untrained eye, you wouldn't really notice it. But yeah, when yeah, you yeah. when you when you know something about like okay, this car's something a bit different, you'll see. Hang on, this has got this bumper, yeah, yeah, yeah. that bumper. Like, it must you, be a one three five i. When you know, you know, basically. Yeah. And that's kind of cool. That makes this. That could make this a normal car so that no one looks at you funny because you're driving this yeah, sports car. But to someone who knows, it's like, oh, that's kind of cool, that's it's special. Like almost a bit of a sleeper, yeah. Hectic. And then also, she also specced the, um, also the M Performance wheels, which also make a massive mm. difference. And they, they look really good, mm. they're black. Not too bad, yeah. So <laughs> black. Um, and then, final thing, which I think is the biggest thing, she mm. also actually specced the M oh, M, um, M Sport suspension, which actually lowers the car and a bit of a stiffer ride. And then tell me, yet again, referring to the, the more base models, what's the difference in like performance figures? Uh, obviously, I wouldn't expect you like to know everyone's zero to one hundred, sure. but like, what think, are we looking at with I this car? I think the one twenty five i mm -hmm. is one sixty five kilowatt. I could be mistaken. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. And zero to one hundred in like six point five, like Golf okay. GTI territory, basically. Yeah, I mean that's quite substantial yeah, already. And now you said the turbos and everything added another fifty kilowatts. So that's I think that's two twenty five kilowatt, um, four hundred newton meters of tool. Hectic. And then I think the the Nord two one hundred for the auto is five point one, but I've got the manual. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that a little yeah. bit later. <laughs> And I think that's 5.4 to 100. So, and I mean that—that's what a second, one, one, yo, 1. 1.1 seconds yo. shaved off from the normal variance, which is already fairly quick. Yo. That's mad. It's yo. like so near to a to a sub five car, uh, which is very, very, very good for but a stock standard BMW 135i. And then, standard, yeah. then you obviously get the M 135i, and then we're not even talking about the mm. 1M. 1M, yeah. Um, which is just so exciting to see all these steps that BMW are taking to make like the different the different classes you can climb into with the cars. It's, it's such an exciting game, I feel. Okay, so but tell me, have you, after taking ownership, done any mods to the car? It's still completely stock. Um, okay. So no air filter, no tube, still 100% stock, except for two minor things. Um, it's actually got fatter tires on the rear and the front just for a bit more grip uh 255 255s yeah, yeah i think stock is 245s i'm not sure about the front mm. but yeah yeah probably the maybe rear, a bit thinner i don't know rears are more important yeah definitely uh, go like this eh and then also um it's still the stock exhaust except for i did a muffler delete 
and then also resonated in me. So it's still got the cats and the, the tiny muffler. Yeah, and, and so funny enough, we actually got footage of what the car sounded like before he did the muffler delete. <laughs> And then obviously this is what the car sounds like now. Okay, so and now I obviously have to ask, uh, it's kind of the difficult part of the video, Please do tell us about your likes and specifically dislikes about this car. So I think we'll start with the, the disli dislikes, the sensitive topic here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Always. I think number one, um, and this is my own fault I guess, I knew it was coming, is the, the freaking fuel economy. It's so heavy on fuel. <laughs> yeah, six cylinder game, eh? I yeah, know I can relate to that. Six cylinder twin turbo charge. Um, and then secondly, I think the second one is my own fault. That's the drone. It's a bit excessive, but like I said, that's not the BMW's fault, that's my own. And then the final thing is a bit subjective, um, but the, the, the looks of the car, just, they don't speak to me. It's, it's nice looking, but it's just not sporty and aggressive enough for me. It's a bit, yeah. it's a bit too much of a sleeper, I guess. What? Not, not enough of a sports car, basically. And I mean, what's kind of cool about that, and I, I can relate once again, is that you we, we're not literally just searching for cars that look like expensive cars, not poser cars, I don't want to use that term, but like we really want to know if the car can do what we want it to do instead yeah, of yeah. looking the way we want it to look. We know exactly. one day when we work for our money, we'll get to cars that look stunning and drive stunningly like, as well. Like we, we can't have every, everything yeah, already it's, yeah. just like that now yet. Yeah. And I mean, even the, with these small issues from both of our sides, the cars still make us smile tremendously every single time we drive them. And then obviously we get to the likes. I mean, you probably won't stop. Okay, let's say, let's say, let's say top three likes. Top three likes about this car. Sure. Without mentioning, uh, ex no, without mentioning the the rear wheel drive and the engine. Okay, then number one would have to be the manual manual gearbox. I think if it wasn't for the manual, I wouldn't have bought this car. There's no way. Maybe I can add. Yeah. I'd say the stance. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like parking this thing. It's got real presence on the road. Yeah. Yeah, we, we went to buy like fire. Uh, we went to go buy firewood the other day, um, and then we obviously you just have to turn around to look at your car one more time. Hang on, there's a hairpin. Second gear. Traction off. <laughs> it's just traction flashing. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Enough of that. Um, you just have to turn around and look at the car, this, and the squat is phenomenal. And you actually, I remember you kind of you had spaces on the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, but it was, um, it was, it was like rubbing. Yeah, it was rubbing, rubbing on the inner, uh, the lining of the wheel yeah. well. Um, and as sad as I was to see it go, like the car still has a very good squat. Like the the, the, the when I move the spaces, it just changed the way the car actually drives. And you'd say it's better yeah, handling. Better, maybe? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, a lot better. Yeah. That's cool. Um, Else. I'd help say me, this, this is hard yeah, to say, but like so many. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I, I kind of like the silver on the color spec as well. Like, yeah. I'm kind of sick of silver cars because I mean, yeah, I've owned two silver cars now. Now you've got a silver car, but in terms of being a BMW, it works really well with this, yeah, the yeah. black rims, the black kidney uh, grill intakes. Benches, yeah. um, I think it's a proper like it, it looks. It really helps the looks of the car. I'd say. And um, then also. Yeah. You weren't supposed so, to mention the engine. I can't help it. Eh? <laughs> can't help it. <laughs> okay, but now for the most exciting part. My turn. <laughs> better, better take care. Eh? <laughs> oh. Okay, it's just one click of the traction. Only one click is all we need at the moment. For now, for inexperienced front wheel, di front wheel driver rookie. Front wheel driver rookie. <laughs> And I mean, just from the get-go, the steering is very heavy. And yeah. they drove so loud. Yeah, I mean, it's heavy. But for a car like this, it's kind of fun because you feel 
ended up being, you, you got feedback, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's hydraulic steering. Okay. Very heavy hydraulic steering, yeah. Another very cool thing, we actually now, I just want to turn around so we can head home again. Um, the turning circle is amazing. It's surprising, eh? Yeah, it's very good. Like, I, mean, I mean, when I compare it to the Swift. Okay. But now for the serious race. Stuff. and dislikes about this car yes the car is quite expensive to maintain especially when something goes wrong but in terms of value for money sure. really spot on now we, we, we obviously it, yeah. we work, um, we're working with rands right in south africa's terms um but if you do exchange from now let's say rands to dollars it's it's very cheap for, yes, yeah, yeah. i mean for the amount of kilometers i'm not going to give away car stats and secrets but um very good value for money in terms of i mean you can't beat it yeah, Basically, six cylinders, rear wheel drive, twin turbocharged, from 0 to 100 in near 5 seconds. And I mean, I'm gonna say it. Manual. Manual BMW. It's, it's German. Yeah, you yeah. can say you're driving a German car. German engineering, basically, yeah. Stereotypes, yes, but we've seen German it's, cars it's just nice, being yeah. top quality in terms of engineering. You WhatsApp me and you're like, why would you need anything more yeah, exactly, in terms yeah. of cars? And obviously we want faster cars, we always do. But, you, you but realistically, this is, this, this is like a solid total package. There's two seats at the back as well. Yeah. There's a massive boot. And when you drive it properly, we got, uh, what did we get in terms of fuel yesterday? Eight, no, two eight, days ago? Eight, I got 8.0 eight liters per 100 kilometers. And that's good. That's really doable. It's not too bad, y'all. Yeah. I feel if you can afford a car like this, you would probably be able to afford the fuel as well. Sure. Yeah, definitely, yeah. This is fantastic. Like, and I'm slowly but surely like, falling in love with this car, being able to spend a few days with it. It's just phenomenal. Thank you for the experience as well, James. No problem. <laughs> oh. And now it is that very sad part of the video where we kind of have to round it all off um, and do the goodbyes and everything. But oh my goodness, how this car has amazed me left, right and center. <laughs> Alyssa, man, thank you so very much for the opportunity. Thanks, Yannick. It was so cool. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, yet again, this car is taking me by amazement. Uh, just an awesome car. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please do drop a like and a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about this car. Um, if you guys have any cars that you really want us to review, doesn't matter what it is, just DM me and everything, we'll sort something out. Anyway, we'll check you guys in the next video. Bye.